What a do, my baby booze, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Rano 18 Pregnancy Challenge. Except today we are not with Tasha. We are actually with Ruby's dad and about to be stepmom Maya here. It is their wedding day today. They decided to have her flown out to, back to New York so that she could be the flower girl in their wedding. She's not going to be actually throwing flower petals because she's a toddler and I've looked and there are no animations or poses or anything that can really help me out with selling that she's a flower girl. So we're going to use our, uh, our imaginations today. Did he just put her back to bed? I told him to... Did he do the diaper change? Okay, well then he definitely needs to give her a bath. The wedding is at 10 a.m. So everyone needs to be fresh and clean today. Let's give a Ruby Ann a bath. And then, you know, they're obviously gonna shower as well today. But yeah, everyone needs to be nice and sparkling clean. We're getting married in the San Myshuno Park. So that's gonna be exciting. I did make his parents and her parents. So they're both sets of parents are gonna be there. And you know, just a few acquaintances that they've met along the way. So it's it's gonna be a very small wedding, but you know, a very nice one at the same time. It's gonna be really cute. So I'm excited. She has her dress and her cake all done and ready to go. She keeps trying to mop up this one little puddle. If you couldn't tell, I'm also using this like Sims 2 UI interface. It's so cool. Like everything is different. Like these look like bubbles. I, I love it so much. What is Maya doing? M Maya, she's tense. She's got looming anxiety. She's just got a little bit of fear going on about, you know, getting married. Maybe she's getting a little bit of cold feet, but I don't think that they're cold enough to where, you know, she's gonna actually not get married to him. That's like, for some reason, he's the love of her life. So that's what she's doing. Her hygiene is okay, but I am just gonna like have her top it off just because it's the wedding day and you don't want an ounce of bad, you know? Should we eat something small? Usually, you know, a bride would be getting ready with with her girls and whatever and like kind of like snacking throughout the morning but they obviously have a toddler with them so they're not doing that today i think i'm gonna have him go over here his hygiene is perfect so he's going to let's cook a nice light breakfast if we can he doesn't have a very high skill truth be told maya does most of the cooking in this house what if we just grab snacks for everybody have a quick meal actually first let's let's feed ruby <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. But let's put her here and give food to her. We'll give her some applesauce. Okay, and then we're gonna go grab a snack. So quick meal or drink. I think he's just gonna have some cereal. And um, Maya's gonna grab herself something too. She's gonna grab a cup of yogurt. So that should be good. Oh my God, I thought it was, I dead ass thought it was about to rain. I was about to be so mad. I know rain is like technically good luck on a wedding, but not if you're getting married in the park. That's, that's kind of bad luck if you ask me. So <laughs> I hope this like tense mood leaves by the time that they get married. Shampoo in her eyes. Oh no. And she has wet clothes. Well, that's a shame. So if you remember his apartment, it was a little bit different the last time we saw it. You know, the whole living room took up this whole space, but he actually built this little tiny room for his little tiny daughter and he added a lot of pink. He even got her like a little doll that she ends up playing with quite a bit. They both got water bottles just in case they get thirsty by the time they're out there. She has to pee. It is almost eight. Like it's almost showtime, y'all. Come on, girl. I mean, her tense mood went away, so that's great. We should definitely let little girl out. Out, and then he's gonna clean this up. He is such a good father, you guys. Like he, it's funny because when Tasha told her, told him that she was pregnant, he was like, no, no way. This is gonna ruin my life. Like I, I can't, I can't be a father right now. But when she came along, he just fell in love with this little girl. He loves her to death. So he's been such a good dad lately. I just hope he keeps it up. And you know, Maya, oh, she's tense again. Oh man, why do you keep getting tense? And why is there always perpetually a pun? here. How do I communicate this stress within a character limit? Girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's actually on fire. Extinguish her. Extinguish her. What does she do? Oh my God. Extinguish. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Get her. Get her. Get her. 
Now Ruby's upset. She's looking like this. <laughs> the wedding is just only like a little more than an hour away. Oh, poor Maya. Poor Maya. What a wedding morning. Man, uh, should I just have her take a bath with soaks until we leave? Let's just do rose petal soak. Hopefully that'll get her a little bit less stressed out. I'm so sorry, Maya. <laughs> Like I was trying to say before, Maya is, a, she's trying to be a good stepmother to Ruby. I think, oh, poor Ruru. Where is Ruru going? No, 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 no. Get her out of the hallway. How is she tired? How? Literally how? She's been sleeping all night. You know what? Maybe he's just gonna get her like something that she can fall asleep with at the wedding. So let's just do that. Maybe get her like a toddler sleeping bag or something. So I'm thinking like something like this where she can just, you know, sleep in nature and should be okay. Okay, so the wedding ceremony starts soon. Let's just, so we can just go to the vent now. Okay, well, let's go. Girl, this almost had me pulling my hair out. It did not work the first time I tried it. I went back and for some reason it was gonna try and not work again. And then I went back to the planning event on the calendar and apparently there was not a time set, which doesn't make sense because I got, you know, the little reminder an hour beforehand. So I just set it to the, like, you know, it wanted to know what time and I just said now and it just automatically brought me here and now it's working. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna accept <laughs> this blessing and move on. Any Hooper dude, we just got this prompt for a hote. Apparently, he's been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well for a hote, and he doesn't have a care in the world. Embrace the change? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, he's just happy because he's he's about to get married. He's got his daughter with him. He's in a very good place in his life. So yeah, we'll say he's cheerful. Let me show you my beautiful get. Girl, you're not a. Are you really a guest? And you showed up to. My you better just be going to the park. But uh, this is the beautiful Maya in her wedding gown. She's absolutely gorgeous and so is the dress. I also have a bouquet for her in her inventory. This is how Ahote showed up. Look at him. All styling, all styling. So this is, I'm guessing, I think this is Maya's dad. Let me see. Yeah, she's Harris. Okay, so this is this is Maya's dad. I think his name is Travis. Yep, this is Ahote's mom. She's looking all styling. Biffy and spammy. We've got Maya's mama right here. That's Maya's mama. There are more people who are supposed to show up. So I guess the people on Ahote's side probably weren't invited officially because she probably didn't know them all. So I'm gonna bring his stepfather. His name is Mitchell. Jocelyn is married to him. We're gonna bring him along. Invite to come on over. And then we're gonna bring his real father, Nick. And uh, he's gonna come on over, so. We're just gonna invite these two really quickly. And then we have, of course, our little Ruru. Look how absolutely stunning this little girl is as the little flower girl. She's so cute. Just, just the best, I love her. So yeah, we're just gonna let him invite them. We're gonna have the celebration feast, exchanging of the vows, dancing, walking down the aisle and cutting the cake. So speaking of the cake, let's see where it is. Ceremony activities. Whatever, let's just gather at the aisle right now and, and start getting everyone ready. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the cake. I set one, but I don't know where it is. I mean, obviously this is a very large place. So I have a feeling that it was set somewhere that it should not have been set down. Okay, so everyone take your seats. Take your seats, take your seats. Olivia Oldham, who the heck are you? I think she's a teacher actually. Like she was a teacher at the high school. Are the other guests here? Here. Oh, Sydney Price is a guest. Okay, so guests are still showing up technically. Ah, here's Ahote's dad and he is in his formal wear. Okay, Nick Deer. Oh, and it actually, he shows up as a guest. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna have Maya come over here. We're gonna just kind of mentally prepare her. She's gonna go here. And then I'm gonna equip the bouquet once she actually does. She's kind of talking to people right now, which is cute. It's cute. Serve from inventory. There it is. Okay, so the white and black cake. We're gonna go ahead and have her put that on the table. So everything is nice and ready and prepared. Look at her. She's just like socializing with her wedding guests. Maybe a hote should go ahead and hire a pianist while we're kind of waiting. A service sim hired by a hote deer is on the way. Beautiful. 
Okay, can can we stop talking to our guest here? I know, I love you, and I'm so glad that you came, but we're already an hour and a half into the event, and we have not done a damn thing. There we go. Oh, it's so precious. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and equip this bouquet. Let's hold our bouquet. Yes, it is a beautiful day. It is a perfect day for a wedding. Just absolutely perfect. So equip that bouquet. There we go. She's so beautiful. Now, everybody needs to take their seats. So ceremony activities, please take your seats. Oh my God, there's a lot of arches. <laughs> oh no, there's two of the same one that I'm using. What if I choose the wrong one? Okay, well, I'll see them heading towards a different one. Unless, oh yeah, I chose the right one. I chose the right one. Okay, everyone needs to sit the heck down. No, not on the ground, Nick. Nick. Please, there are chairs everywhere. Okay, cool, love to see it. All right, so first of all, we're going to send Mr. Ahote down the aisle. Let's send down one sim, Ahote. So he's gonna go stand at the end of the aisle. We've got our little girl here just, oh, look at him, look at him go, he's so cute. Okay, so he's gonna stand there and he's gonna wait for his bride, first his daughter. So we're gonna send down one sim. We're gonna send Ruby Ann. All right, so they're both there. Cool. We made it, you guys. We made it finally. A few hours into the ceremony, but. All good. Let's exchange our vows. Back at the start, time and time again, I relax, but your love is always waiting. Perhaps I can't save myself, so I fade to black. Look at the guests for a second. Look at them. Aww. Wow. Is it time to kiss? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> She's like, are you all right, on? They totally bumped noses. That is so funny. Oh wow. Okay. Now, as I send them down, can we have the wedding party throw rice? And then we're gonna send up the aisle Hote and Maya, if that works. Oh, look, they actually are throwing rice. Ah, I love it. And congratulations. Get out of their way. Get, get, get out of the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Yay. Congratulations. So sweet. And there's just rice everywhere. <laughs> I love how our teacher is like so up in our business right now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everyone's probably starving. I know she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, poor Ruby is so tired and so hungry and definitely has to use that diaper. I'm just gonna have her come over here. I think I'm gonna put a sleeping mat down over here. And then I'm gonna have everybody else kind of gather. We're gonna serve some food. Maya's gonna go ahead and put some food here. Serve assortment. All right, cool, look at this. World famous Tartosian fruit tart. Tartlets with red and black caviar. It's just a bunch of tarts. tarts with cherry, grapes. What about actual food though? <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill the fountain with fruit punch and then we're going to serve food. Oh, okay. Let's serve all. And maybe that will be the real food. So <laughs> this is expensive, but you know, weddings are expensive. Can we have all of the Sims gather over here though? Let's gather for cake. Look at, listen to this pianist. He's going for it. Who is this? Yes, thank you. Very nice. Nick is enthralled. Okay, everyone's gathering for cake. Okay, we're gonna have, you know what? I kind of want Maya to cut the wedding cake and we'll see if that includes a hote, but I'm not sure that it does. Okay. Ooh, everyone's all happy and celebrating. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yay, she cut it by herself. <laughs> Share the wedding cake. Oh yes, this is beautiful. This I love this part. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Oh, people are about to be in my way. Uh, new family dynamic, jokesters, Nick and Ruby. Aw, cute. And I think this is really the official first time that Nick is meeting his granddaughter too. So that's pretty special. All right, go ahead and share the wedding cake. 
Oh, see, exactly. That's what they're doing. They're getting in the way. <gasps> oh, cute. I know Maya isn't our Sim and Ahote is, you know, our baby daddy or whatever. But I think this is still a cute moment. So we're gonna just take a picture of it. Because I am gonna be doing pictures, of course. Because why wouldn't I? So they're sharing their little wedding cake slice. So freaking cute. And hopefully people just follow suit and start eating. Perfect. She went to her table. So I'm gonna have Ahote grab a slice for... Or Ruby. Oh my God. How did that happen? Oh my God. It just disappeared. What? Did you see that? It just disappeared. Okay, Ruby, can you just grab yourself something? We can gra grab the grapes. We'll grab her a tart, okay? Grab a tartlet with cherry. That's fine. And oh, man, take another piece and go back to the table. Hopefully no one beats you to it. Now, I kind of want us to do toasts and stuff right after the cake. Spousal kiss. I think I'm also gonna do the gather for speeches. Give speech. Okay, we're gonna have Travis give a speech he's like so the welcome to my daughter's wedding which i paid for i never thought that this day would come honestly and you know they're a little young but who who cares i guess maybe she's got a baby maybe she doesn't who knows i know hote got someone else pregnant ha 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 and nick's in the background like okay this is always how like the 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 bride's father is just like so we shouldn't even be here that's my princess you know and now we need some dancing to happen so let's ceremony active. Oh, couples dance. Classic slow dance, intimate slow dance. Fly me to the moon. All right, we're going to do an intimate slow dance with a hote. The wind makes way across the field. Let me take a breath. Let me be a part of some. All right, so that was done. Now I need everyone to just dance. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your pants behind. Because if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, then they're no friends of mine. I think the pianist is gone. Oh, my God. Luna's smoking weed in the corner, thinking no one's going to smell that. You're literally just 10 feet away from everybody, but okay. When you come around me, I get lost in where you found me. Want you to use me. You better confuse me. Don't wanna hide the fact that you make me feel that way. What should I give me? Oh back? man, everyone's having fun. Where is Ruby? Ruby is dead asleep with her butt in the air. Oh my gosh, poor little girl is so tired. What happened from low energy when toddlers crash? They crash. A little rest should fix this up. Can she just nap on the bench while we wait for everybody? I feel like um her grandfather should probably take her, or you know, grandparents. Oh my god. God, we have, oh wait, 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 wait a minute, Mitchell. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, is this the other lady's husband? No, this is definitely her husband, Ahote's mom and stepdad. I mean, we did everything we needed to do. So the wedding's pretty much over, y'all. I think people are gonna start leaving now. I think I'm just gonna end it. So ending early, yes. And we got 400 simoleons. That is not even like a little bit covering all of the costs, but everyone's, dang, everyone's like, oh, it's done. All right, bye, peace out. <laughs> What's going on here? She's embarrassed from hearing a bad speech. Oh, <laughs> her dad embarrassed her with that speech. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that story was just shared in front of everyone. Yikes. Like she's like, did my dad just really imply that I might be pregnant? Like that's insane. She's butt hurt from sitting with high maintenance traits. Sometimes it is what it is. And dirty hands oh oh and she's thirsty let's grab your water bottle drink this where did that come from toxic chamomile not to be confused with its non-toxic cousin this toxic flower causes tension when eaten that's very odd so she get your ass out of the tent hell no not in a wedding dress we're going home okay we're going home
All right, y'all, we are with our little Miss Tasha. Did you miss her? All right, so it is seven, a little after seven in the morning on a Tuesday. So it's been a, it's been about a day. We're just kind of chilling at home. We have a big day today, though. She's going to be recording her album today. Man, I hate when you just brush your teeth and then you realize you're hungry. <laughs> but we're going to have to go ahead and eat anyway. So I want to go actually over to this cookbook and get breakfast. She doesn't have a very good um, cooking skill I guess <laughs> but I suppose let's do some crepes with berries that sounds really really delicious she's just gonna go over here and learn how to make some crepes so I did realize I was looking into how famous she actually is and oh my god she's a little mad right now so she's slamming shit don't don't mind her I want to go over to her fame she has three fame points I realized you know the other episode or whatever that she couldn't communicate with Judith Ward, even though she was a celebrity too. I realized that is something you grab through networking, gaining the social prowess to deal with fellow celebrities. Tasha will be able to form friendships with more famous sims and smooth talk her way from being acquaintances to friends quickly. Tasha's networking talent also means any socialization with celebrity acquaintances will earn her fame, while socializing with higher level celebrities will earn even more fame. So let's click on that. That sounds like a great deal. I also wanted to grab noticeable to gain bonus fame from skills and careers. There's just something about Tasha that makes her stand out from the crowd and makes other sims take notice. By honing this aspect of her personality, there's a chance that any single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention, giving Tasha an extra boost of fame. So we're going to grab that. And I also wanted to grab a PR agency perk as well. This has an agency manage reputation and secure exclusive invites. Let a PR agency help Tasha handle her image for her. A quick phone call to the agency can push a news story that'll provide a boost in fame and change in reputation up or down. As a bonus, publicists know all of the best parties around town and can get Tasha on the guest list if she wants to make a new celebrity friend. So let's grab that too. And then she also has a motion bomb as a quirk <laughs> and it has been definitely happening, let me tell you. She is an emotional wreck. I don't know what is going on. I think it's because she has reached fame at such a young age that um, it's just kind of a little crazy for her to deal with on top of being a single mother. Um, it, it can be really, really difficult. So she has a trigger of becoming very sad or very angry. When the world rotates around you, it's easy to become the emotional center of your own universe. For these celebrities, anything angering will cause them to fly off the handle and become enraged. Anything that's sad them requires the world to stop as they struggle to process their feelings. These intense outbursts don't last long. After working through an emotional meltdown, they're back to acting as if nothing was ever wrong at all. And let me tell you, that is so true. They sit there and just become an emotional wreck for like 30 seconds and then they're just over it. It's it's so strange to me, but at least we know that we can have some of the good with the bad because I was just getting the bad for a while, not knowing that I could do perks. So we have some new celebrity perks. We are still just rising like we're just now a rising star but we are also very close to getting to the third star if we could just keep up our fame stuff so I'm, I'm I want to do the studio today and also she has a dinner date with Noah later so we're gonna see him a little bit later too she has been noticing him being a little distant especially on weekdays like he just doesn't want to do things or you know like spend too long at our house especially at like the evening time on the weekdays and it's just a little strange to her she's like what do you have like another girlfriend or like a wife or something like what's going on these hollywood men i tell you she's just so angry my gosh she is having such a temper tantrum i also want to get her a water bottle because i've just been getting everybody water bottles because they get thirsty all the time now so may as well have that handy in your inventory so we're gonna go ahead and do that her favorite color is purple i don't know if they have one aha here's a purple one so this is perfect her favorite color. So we're going to grab that and um, have her fill it up refill this after she's finished with her crepes and then uh, we're gonna take it with us to the studio because you know your voice gets kind of sore when you are recording five songs at a time oh my god those look amazing holy crap do you see that that is beautiful I love you know what 
CC food is the best food. It really is. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a big old honking serving of crepes. Where is she gonna eat? She just, she likes to eat over here, even though, I mean, there are stools over here that she could eat on. She loves eating out on her um, little deck out here. So I'm not gonna stop her. Go ahead and eat and then, yep, drink your water bottle. Yep, yep, yep. Put it back in your inventory though. Like you don't want that just sitting out. So I'm gonna let her eat breakfast and I don't think she, yeah, I think she's pretty much good. So we're gonna just go ahead and change our outfit into this little number here. And then we're gonna go meet up with the band at the studio. All right, so go ahead and clean that up. She said, uh-huh, like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> and then, oh, this is old. This is super old. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I love the recycling and how it just gives us so much money, even though we don't really need it. Speaking of money, let me go look in our household inventory really quickly. Who is giving us an oven? I mean, I'll sell it. Holy crap. Okay, I love my fans. My fans are the absolute best <laughs> and I would never ever replace them for the world. I don't know who, where this cake came. Oh, that's from the birthday party that's right we got what in the world we got a really nice microwave and we don't have a microwave but i feel like she only cooks using this counter though so that might not be very good i think you know what we're just gonna go ahead and sell it it's only 40 simoleons that kind of sucks let there be light laser show someone gave us a changing table is this ours no someone just gave that to us someone heard that we have kids or a child our high school diploma's in there let's put that on our wall let's put it right here yeah we want to display that proudly we've got a sofa let's see a vintage sign someone sent us a collectible plate it looks like they drew on it themselves so i kind of want to keep that because it's from a fan and they like personally made it so we'll just make it a little bit smaller i'm pretty sure this came from a fan too over here she likes to keep their artwork wow this is the illumination. That's kind of a nice little couch, but we're going to sell it. This end table. They like to give us some expensive crap. A whole column. Okay. <laughs> Mail. All right, we got fan mail, a weed jar. Oh, that's from, that's actually ours. <laughs> okay, well, that kind of put us up. We're almost at 50K. What I kind of want to do is get a house in LA. I think she's really liking it here. And so she's going to be looking at houses eventually, not in this episode, but in probably the next episode, I think we're going to have her take a look at a house that Judith Ward is actually selling. And now that we have that perk, we can actually talk to Judith. So that would be good. Let's go ahead and work on our little album album not our little album that sounds like in infantilizing but we're gonna go to road to fame and professional singing and work on the album at the studio and uh yeah i guess we'll see you there So we made it to the studio and Luther was in the, our agent, by the way, if you don't remember, was in the process of telling us that there have been changes to our contract. And um, he's like, yeah. She's like, what do you mean changes to our contract? And he's like, well, the person who changed the contract is right in the other room. And she, she goes, what do you mean person? He's like, just go check the other room and you'll see. So if we go into the other room, who is over here on this little mixer thing? Everyone's gonna go over here and kind of check it out. Her name is Lizetta Winter. Let's just do a friendly introduction because we just, we, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what's going on. So Tasha's like, hi, I'm Tasha. Tasha, what's your name? Lizette's like, oh, hi, I'm new to Lamasic. I am the new guitarist. She's like, um, I did not know that we needed a new guitarist. So that's news to me. Lizette's like, yeah, Luther contacted me and found me at like this talent scout thing. And he decided to hook me up with Lama Six. Since you are always kind of playing guitar and singing at the same time, he thinks that you would focus more if I took over the guitar from now on. And Tasha's like, oh no, he did not. <laughs> oh no, he did not. Luther, Luther, where are you? Oh my gosh, he's on his way out too. Luther! Get your butt over here. We're going to do complaints. <laughs> We'll say we'll complain about local use, but we're complaining about Lizette. She's like, no, I don't need a guitar player. I'm I'm 
perfectly fine at playing it at the same time. Like I, I, we don't need you. And Lizette's like, well, Luther would beg to differ. Oh my God. Oh my God. So we got our little mix guy here. So he's going to sit down. We're, we're just going to, we're just going to play this out. Okay. I need a guitar down here actually. So we're going to take a guitar off from the wall. Okay, everybody chop chop. It's time to start the recording session. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I have time jumped just a little bit and uh, we ended up recording our album and we were over here with our new guitarist taking some new group photos for Llama 6. So I will put them on the screen. <laughs> So now I guess we're free to just go ahead and actually release the album. I think she's gonna be leaving the property to do this, but I'm not sure as I've never done this before and I've never seen anybody do this before. So we're going to professional singing and we're going to release the album at studio technically, but I, she's definitely gonna leave to go do it. Hopefully she comes back and my group doesn't leave, but I need to get this done. So just pretend that we're here, we're still here and releasing the album. Oh, she's back. Okay, Tasha has released an album. Tasha will now earn daily royalties for that album. Okay, cool. Do Oh, $1,500. Okay. How has she released two albums? She earned $750. For How did she release two? You know what? I'm going to take it. She got $1,500 right off the bat. So that's great. I'm going to get away from that buzzing noise. Oh, she's about to receive a gift from fans. Can we all go here together and meet up in front of this tattoo shop because we are all gonna get matching tattoos 
songs for the band. And uh, you know, now that she's actually worked on a song with, oh my gosh, Lizette, because she did work with her and Lizette did do an amazing job. I think she's not as upset now as she was when she first learned. It's kind of nice to not have to play the guitar and to just focus on the singing. And she's still like the headline of the band. So, you know, it <laughs> doesn't have to be too disappointed about that. So we're gonna go and actually get a tattoo from the tattoo shop over here. It costs 150, which is perfect, but I'm gonna actually go in here into the tattoo shop. Let's go in here to Geza. I don't even, I don't think there is a name of this tattoo shop, to be honest. I didn't come up with one, but this is it. This is the little, you know, the walk-in area where you can kind of pay for your tattoo or whatever. We're all coming on in. This is the little waiting area. We already have a few people just kind of waiting right now. And one is even asleep in the corner. It's got really cool, let me pause it. It's got really cool artwork, you know, that kind of like references tattoos and just, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is one of the artist's art, who knows? But then we've got, you know, lots of like tattoo positive artwork on the wall too. Of course, this lady's just completely filled. And uh, we got like a painted elephant. We could just, a lot of paintings, just tattoo friendly um, art. This is gonna be our tattoo artist. His name is Austin Butler. Let's go ahead and meet him. I don't need to in introduce myself anymore because I did add him to my household because freaking control any sim does not work anymore. And I'm so sad about it. But we're gonna do small talk and get to know and just, uh, just you know, introduce ourselves to him and be like, hey, I'd like to get a tattoo today. Technically, she'd be going up to this guy, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he's kind of a statue. So let's meet him. Oh, she's sitting right down. Okay, perfect. She got right in that dang chair. She's like, hi, I'm Tasha Shepard. You'll be tattooing me today. Let's keep it light. That nice bit of small talk from Tasha has Austin thinking sometimes the simpler things in life are worth appreciating. Even basic conversations that don't go too deep can be be nice. What do you say that Austin embraces the ordinary and likes small talk? I'm sure tattoo artists, I mean, they have to get used to small talk anyway. So we'll just, we'll just say, yeah, he enjoys that. Oh, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel the same way about me too. Aw, cute. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to have Austin come on over here and start. She is talking about how they're all getting matching tattoos. Talk about tattoo. Oh, that's perfect. She wants to get matching tattoo. Oh, bro. Oh, Oh, bro. No, no. Come sit on this one. Don't sit on that stool. It's taken. Dude, this does not look right. Okay, we're talking about the tattoo now. Okay, he's like, wow, that's a really good idea. Matching band tattoos. Love it. Okay, well, we should probably get started now because it's going to take a while. Can I please have you come sit here? You know, I just noticed something. Austin looks like my ex. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Um, Let me get to my tattoos. Oh, I never even actually have gotten the chance to show you. She has a C-section scar from when she gave birth to Ruby, but she's kind of self-conscious about it. So she always wears clothes that um that goes over the top of it. I, I don't think I've ever even shown you guys that she has that. So yeah, she definitely still has the scars. She has, you know, the cellulite that we all have too. I mean, she's, a, she's as real as a Sim can get, which I guess is not very real. But she did tell her artist that she wants Ruby's name on her back. So her hair is kind of covering it right now. Let me see. See if I can change and get my hair up. So this is Ruby's little name on her shoulder. I think it's a really cute spot to put it. And I have not picked out the llama sick tattoo yet, but it's probably got to be something up top because most of her, her, um, most of like her stuff is down here for what she is actually wearing on her body. So I think we're going to go for something on the arm and something that's already in game too, because ain't nobody got time to just be creating all these different tattoos. I already gave her Ruby. So <laughs> I kind of like this one on the arm. I feel like we could have a cool symbol represent our band, like something rock starry and punk. And this could be it. I mean, just because we're called Llama Sick doesn't mean our mascot literally has to be a llama. I think this is really cool. It kind of like has like a cultish kind of implications. And I just, I like it a lot. And then we've got Ruby on the back. And yeah, our little Tasha is tattooed now and I love it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put the tattoos on all 
all of our people. So yeah, let me uh, do that. And we'll meet back up with you at the tattoo shop. So little Miss Taja is checking herself out in the mirror and just looking at her new tattoos. And she's like, wow, this is amazing. So, so that's $300 I think she owes him. And he's like, well, for the girlfriend of my roommate, I can throw on a little bit of a discount. And she's like, what? Girlfriend of your roommate? He's like, yeah, I know that you're dating Noah and uh, Noah's letting me crash on his couch right now. So I feel like it's kind of almost paying him back a little bit. <laughs> and she's like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, I mean, I heard you have a daughter and like he has a daughter and like you guys have so much in common and she's like excuse me uh a daughter. So she's been on video call with Noah, just kind of wondering why he lied about it. And I thought that she was going to be angry. And in fact, I kind of cheated her to be angry. And then her other moodless just kind of overpowered it. She's just in a very good mood. So I guess this is the best time to get the news. But he just basically told her, you know, I'm, I just, I was really nervous to tell you because I thought, you know, maybe it was going to be a deal breaker. And I've never been with anybody like you before. And the thing is, is I was gonna tell you at dinner tonight. I, I was gonna tell you and come clean and if you were gonna leave me, you were gonna leave me, but now it's just on the table before dinner and, uh, and now I guess you know and I'm kind of scared. Please say something, Tasha. She's like, I really wish you would have told me. I don't like secrets at all, but I think it's really cool that you have a daughter. <laughs> and you know, maybe maybe our daughters can play together and, and be friends one day. This definitely isn't a deal breaker for me. And so uh, Noah's pretty relieved at that. And I think with this out of the way, I think he's going to be really relieved. And at dinner tonight, I think he's gonna take her out, just the two of them. And then later, if it's not too, it's probably going to be too late after dinner, but tomorrow or sometime this week, we can go ahead and meet his daughter. So that's really cool. So I'm going to get them all set up to go on their date. And I guess we'll see you there. He's planning on taking her to this cute little Mexican restaurant by the ocean. And uh, and he's really excited about it. It's like this little spot that he just, just found wandering around one day. So he's pretty excited to take her there. So it's called Casita. In fact, um, I think she's about to go ahead and take this taxi that's just been a uh, waiting for us and we're gonna commute with Noah and get ourselves well I guess we're not commuting with Noah but we're gonna be meeting him there we're just gonna meet him straight from here I guess um can you please not grab that watermelon thank you what's up Tasha one of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you can I give them your number no please don't give my number away I'm not even totally sure who you are but okay let's just hop on in this taxi y'all and I think I have to choose the place, so let's go. Well, we made it to Casita, guys, and I'm just now realizing I did not play test it at all, so I'm really hoping it works, but we ended up picking um, Noah up with our taxi, and um, as soon as they got out, they just, they embraced, and I feel like this almost made their relationship stronger or something. I thought she was gonna be really mad at him. I genuinely wrote her to be mad at him, but because they just released this album, she's really, really confident. She's really happy. She She's just um, over the moon and all she wants to do is celebrate and he's her current favorite person right now. So that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna celebrate with Noah. And of course there's paparazzi taking pictures of us as we're just trying to enjoy. Oh my Lord, we're just trying to enjoy our day out. And the paparazzi's like, oh my gosh, Tasha has a new bow and it's not her baby daddy. Oh my goodness. Wow, what table should we grab? Should we grab a booth or possibly something on the deck? The deck is really nice, actually. Or we could go really up close and personal to the bar. Maybe we'll just order drinks from the deck. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I wanna grab the chair or the seat or the table. <laughs> I guess we'll tip $100 to request this table. That's fine. Just to make sure that we get the best seating in the house, according to us. Yeah, so we're gonna request that table and probably get some drinks and just celebrate. Let's stop chatting. We're just standing out. We can chat at the table. We are on an official date, so our main goal is to socialize with him. Obviously request a table. Oh, okay, well that's good, because <laughs> I just did that. And uh, we need to socialize about the meal, so we need to get the meal going in order to socialize about it. Can we do that, please? <laughs> 
thank you. I hope all these outfit changes aren't giving you whiplash either. I just kind of started giving up when she just started changing herself. What in the world? Why? What? We can't get to this one? Luther's calling. Guess what? My date with Heaven Perales went very well. That's great. You haven't really had that much time to get on the date. I'm trying to go on a date directly after and I'm just ugh, dealing with glitches. Let's just request a just any old table then. Doesn't matter. Just get me into a, a table, please. Okay, finally, my goodness. She's like, well, why didn't you just say so? We got plenty of tables. Please follow me. Where did Noah even go? I, I can't even see him anymore. Please go on the deck. 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 Let's go. And we're not getting on the deck. Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like we're going upstairs, too. Oh, we got, like, the furthest table over here. It's, like, the second best to being on the patio, I guess. We still got, like, this great ocean view from our table. So that's good. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And that the fact that we can actually get food now. I'm going to help her bladder because I, I'm sorry. I'm just mad. It took so long just to get this out. So I'm going to order for the table. Ooh, and we can order a bottle, too. Too. Let's order for the table first. And obviously, I got you, Noah. Like, <laughs> I got you. I just released an album. So we got mimosas. We got non-alcoholic beverages. We got alcoholic beverages. We got the beer. We got the daiquiri. We got the sex on the beach. Baby fever. Does that make you, like, more susceptible to pregnancy? Because no. <laughs> it's not happening. I think she's going to grab a tequila sunrise. And he is going to grab himself a dos a key and I think we're gonna skip the appetite well we could grab chips and salsa for like an appetizer but like appetizers just you know they they get us full anyway so I think I want to go straight for the main course I think the gentleman is gonna have some fish tacos and the lady is going to have arepa reliente con perico I'm so sorry if I slaughtered that I'm so sorry but yeah that's gonna be our meals only 78 simoleons and then what about ordering a bottle Ooh, look at all that yes let's get some champagne it's it's we gotta celebrate y'all so I think we're gonna go Ooh, rosé champagne gold maybe champagne gold i think we're gonna do champagne gold yeah we're gonna order that please tell me i can because <laughs> it just crossed out right when that when that happened so we're gonna wait to place the order but in the meantime let's talk to him look at him he's so cute looking at the menu let's joke with him let's tell a story a funny story oh my gosh why are we getting up why are we getting up please stay in your seats Ugh. oh are we just going over to the bar she's like screw it i want to order my drinks over here she's telling her story from over here really can we can we go back to our seats? I don't understand. Go sit down at your actual chair. This is terrible. This date is going terribly for a gold. I'm probably not going to make it, but they still like each other. So, you know, I'm just going to blame it on the game. We got here at five and it's 10 right now. Like, just so you know, just so you're aware. Oh, I got a joke with him like five times. Jeez. Okay, well, that's still so still social interactions so that'll be fine we'll tell a joke about facial hair i don't know silly behavior we'll do make funny faces look she's in a silly mood anyways she's very confident we'll talk about being a hood legend sure <laughs> look at her making impressions he's like you are so silly tasha that's what i like so much about you you're just not afraid to be yourself they have like an entirely full bar of both love and friendship which is insane to me i feel like most most people are enchanted by her though because she's famous she she gets close to people very fast we'll do an impression oh my god i'm not gonna make it have a d oh shit okay how much longer do i have 48 minutes oh let's have a deep conversation with him i just we're not getting our food like we haven't even taken our order yet we'll do a deep conversation i guess about family so deep thoughts we'll go oh discuss <gasps> discuss expanding the family like what if we all like live together wouldn't that be cool look she was discussing it she had the moving things all up on there because she's been thinking about buying a house she really has and if she did this house that i have in mind for her would be big enough to fit him and his daughter and i didn't i wasn't even thinking about him and his daughter when i built it i really wasn't but this could work you know it really could he's romantic she learned that about him today oh my my god oh he's a winner even if this restaurant isn't <laughs> we still have not placed our order like what is going on oh i got a thousand bucks 
Yes, ma'am. Where is the waiter? Because I'm about to leave and then probably just like make dinner at my house. Honestly, like what if we just ditch? We've been here for hours. So after our official date, I think we're going to go back to my place. I think that was probably the plan all along anyways. Oh, I got gold. Oh, I got gold. Yes, I did. That is correct. Even if we didn't get the food, just being together was enough. So boom. <laughs> okay, so I want to have another deep conversation propose a crazy scheme oh she has to go to the bathroom so i think we'll just let her go to the bathroom and uh we're gonna end the date your waiter will come to your table soon to take your order are you sure you want to cancel ma'am i've been here for six hours and you're lucky i'm not even mad i'm really not even mad i think i i feel like maybe the waitress has been like getting boozed up or something but can we at least get to the bathroom look at all this Man, that kind of sucks that the restaurant didn't work out. Maybe on a, I mean, it wasn't even like a busy time. I guess it was dinner rush. I'll just tell myself that. It was dinner rush. All right, date completed. Legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help you remember it. It really wasn't even that legendary. <laughs> it really wasn't. Oh, wow. Hot dinner date. Dinner, check. Tasha's favorite Sim, check. All right, <laughs> let's go home. Let's take this cab in the parking lot. We're gonna go home with Noah. He's gonna spend the night with us. We're going home. Seriously though, like even though this was such a bust, she's just happy that she got to spend time with him and that that was his deepest secret was just that he had a daughter. That was it. Let's just go home with Noah. <laughs> She is so hungry. I actually snagged him and brought him into the household too. So we're gonna just grab something, just make something quick to eat from this cookbook. Oh, cook together with Noah. That's so cute. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oof, not a whole lot we can do. I guess we're gonna make pretzels. <laughs> Girl, get off your phone. That actually reminds me, I kind of want to change the color of her phone too. I know the screen is pink, but the outside isn't. So I'm gonna have her match it. So go cook. Oh my gosh, another gift. She is adored. She is loved. Oh, look at these two. I hate how she grabs the ingredients out of like the baby stuff, <laughs> but whatever. How is he going to help? Is he not able to help? Oh, I really wanted him to help. He's just kind of watching her. <laughs> She's like, so Noah, tell me about your daughter. Like, where's your baby mama? How'd all that happen? And Noah's like, well, I was married, actually. I uh, had a wife and she gave me my beautiful daughter but she also cheated on me so I had to break it off and I got her in the custody battle and she's like wow that's that's really sad does her mom not want to see her and he's like no she has some rights she sees her sometimes but she just picks her up and takes her back to our home state and it kind of sucks she's always kind of like back and forth between us no you're not having the crepes i just made these pretzels grab a pretzel they're warm after a long night of like not being able to eat <laughs> I think these probably taste amazing right now. I really wanted to like drink or smoke. Let's smoke. Can we smoke together? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Do I have my bong in my inventory with me? Where's my bong? Where's my bong? I feel like I lost my bong. Like what happened? Holy crap, she lost it. So I'm gonna have to grab a new one. Just going through what we were given again. Champagne gold. Now we have the champagne. Okay, I wonder if I can actually use this. Like, can I actually drink it? But I actually got some. That's good. And then we got this really cute thing that I'm going to sell for $245. Let's sell this shower. Beautiful. We'll just say that these are like checks that people send me. We already have one of these mirrors, so we don't really need it. Okay, so we're up to 53,441. That's awesome. Let's grab our bong. Okay, so let's finally do this. Let's share weed with Noah. Hopefully this works. I feel like nothing has been working, so please let this one thing work. So with one pretzel in his hand, he walks over to the... <laughs> Lighting him with the pretzel in his hand. All right. You better give me some of that. You better pass that. Pass it my way. Pass it. Pass it my way. Is this how I lost my bong the first time? Someone just someone just takes a hit and, and just puts it in their inventory. Hold on a second. No, we're smoking. You can go to sleep at explosive. What? What? Explosion? Was it 
faulty wires, a gas leak, unregulated spleens? Either way, how terrifying. Call the property owner to sort out the issue or take care of the broken objects yourself. Oh no. What broken objects? What kind of explosion? Oh my God. Okay, just smoke your weed. We'll worry about it in the morning. It's fine. And then we're gonna go and actually woohoo. Oh my God, what if he put a hole in the con? What if he was that kind of guy to put a hole? No, there's no, there's no one out there. Like there's not a guy that already has a kid who would ever do that, right? Right? <laughs> I think I have risky woohoo. I think it's always on, but then again, it could have been a Wicked Whims feature that I had and I don't have Wicked Whims in my game anymore. So who knows, who knows? But I guess we're gonna do this. Oh man, she, she <laughs> changed into her PJs. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. And then she's gonna go to sleep. She's still really hungry. I think I'm gonna put the pretzels back in the fridge just for my lady. So she has something to eat when she is awakened tomorrow. And can we actually drink this? <gasps> we can. Okay, in the morning, I think. I think they're too tired now, but she still had a good night. She still had a good night. I feel like it was kind of a flop, but it was a flop with Noah. So whatever. What is happening here? Is he sleeping? He's sleeping. She went under the covers with him for a second and just was like, nah. but she's awake again. So I mean, she should sleep, but she is still hungry. So I guess we can grab the pretzels. Look at all this yummy food we have in our fridge. That's awesome. Let's just grab a pretzel. Oh, he's awake again. Noah, go back to sleep. And it's a Wednesday. It totally is. So his roommate is probably just gonna um, drop her off at school in the morning, his daughter. So yeah, we'll meet her in the next episode. But for this one, I think we're just gonna chill. And I think she's gonna go to sleep now. Can we please? I know you're tired. I know you are. And then when you wake up, the first thing you're doing is vacuuming. Actually, you don't really have many carpets. So I guess we're gonna um, sweep lightly. Oh, I have to do laundry too. It's not fitting in my hamper anymore. Okay, um, if you're gonna be changing your clothes here a lot, I'm gonna have you do the laundry. Well, let's go ahead and unload and move it to the dryer. I have luckily a mod in now that, oh crap, he has to pee first. Okay, go pee. Oh, they both have to pee. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And I think he's thirsty. He's still stoned. He's still stoned. He's very confident. He's just waiting for that bathroom break. So I guess since she, oh, it's Independence Day tomorrow. I'm gonna get Ruby back soon. This was kind of a weird episode without, you know, having Ruby around. It was weird. Yeah, let's add this to the dryer. But yeah, she's she's gonna be back next episode. Oh my God. Just imagine if we lived together, that would be insane. He His eyes are so red. Oh my God, my old realtor is texting me. Why the fuck is your phone ri Oh, <laughs> Lise Shepard is hitting you up. I feel like talking. Should I? Before I started recording, Elise did call me and was wondering, you know, like why we never call her and contact her. And I told her I had to go and it, I felt so bad. She was like, well, just if you ever need to talk to anybody, I'm here. So her mom has been like trying to slowly reintegrate back into our lives. And I feel like she should be allowed to. She didn't technically do anything wrong, but she had to pretty much stand behind her husband when he kicked her out when she got pregnant. So it's kind of complicated. She feels like if she lets her mom in, that's also kind of simultaneously letting her dad back in too. But her mom's been so great. I think I'm gonna talk to her and we'll just see what she needs, if she needs anything. Obviously, she probably doesn't. She just wants to talk to her daughter, but you know, maybe she heard about the album and just wants to talk to her daughter again. All these other people get the best of her. Oh, look, it's red now. I thought I changed it to pink. Oh my God, she's gonna smoke again. So what did your mom want? I think her mom wants to actually see her soon. Like she wants to actually like go out to lunch or something and hopefully that would work. What just happened? She spread some juicy gossip about Elijah. Oh, she was talking shit about her dad she was like well if you come i don't want you to just like secretly bring dad the gossip in this family is hilarious that's insane business deal major companies want to use my name in order to pr promote their products keep them coming in fact let's just like ensure that our fame stays kind of relevant i want to add to our simstagram story and i think i'm gonna like make a statement an official statement about my album she's like my album just came out llama sick down 
download it now. It's on podcasts everywhere. You'll love the new member of our band. A successful image sent off into the void of the web. Who could ask for more? Tasha has gained 12 followers. She now has 152 in total. I want to check their profiles. I just want to see how she feels about him. He's not unemployed. He works as a bartender, so ignore that. <laughs> but he's self-assured. He's a dance machine and he's romantic. It's like there's like nothing wrong with him. Soulmates, two Sims, one heart, social bunny friends, good compatibility, and neighbors since he does live across the street. Baked buddies, Tasha enjoys hanging out and getting stoned with Noah. And they cooked together, so there's a close sentiment there. Sims that cook together stay together. Without food, we would not exist. It is food that created us, food that connects us, food that binds us. And they're deeply connected. Noah has a powerful bond with Tasha that is the source of strength and comfort. Okay, she really really like actually i think she's in love with him dude i think she's in love with this guy i mean right i mean they would be because they kind of get each other and they were already talking about moving in with each other so you know it makes sense you wouldn't really be talking about someone moving in if you didn't actually really love them and i don't think we could make it work here i mean we have so such a small apartment. We were kind of only planning on staying here for until we dropped the album actually. So until now, but uh, she met Noah and she really, really likes Noah and she wants to see where this goes with him. So I think we are going to be looking into buying a house in the next episode. So that is what we're going to do. I think I'm going to actually end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye loves. Mwah.